Zing International presents Zing Only One Green. Use Only One Green for all mopping, auto scrubbing, burnishing, repairing, and restoring your floors. Now what we're going to talk about is the initial visit. This is for salespeople that are going to introduce the only one to a particular facility. And this is my recommendation about how you can go about doing that. Things we're going to go through is collecting information on the account, doing a walkthrough on the account so you can get your own view, check the supply closet, see what they're using, identify the pull-throughs. These are items that you can actually sell from your inventory. And speak to the cleaning people. And then after gathering all the information, what can you do to help? Now let's start with collecting information. First thing you want to do is identify the pro process and frequency of maintenance. So I'm suggesting that before you actually present the only one to the facility that you find out as much as you can about what they're doing right now. So speak to the person in charge and find out as many things about, you know, specifically about how the floor is maintained, including how many people clean, the time of day, what areas do they clean, how often the floor is stripped, etc. The more information you know, the better you can help the customer, and you can also, if they get started with the only one, you can create a case study over time of how much savings they've accumulated. Okay, do a walkthrough of the facility. What is that going to do for you? Well, it'll give you an overall view of the, of the building. So you'll get to notice the overall appearance, the shine, is the place clean, are there any marks on the floor, scratches, do they look like they're taking care of the place? You'll be able to identify high traffic areas and the condition of those areas. Is there scratches, is there dirt embedded in the floor, is the shine missing? These are all things that are important for how you can help with your knowledge and experience. Check the supply closet. You can learn a lot from a supply closet. You'll be able to see the equipment, the chemicals, you'll see if there's any consistency, whether or not they take care of their products. Now you're going to look through for the pull-through items. These are items that relate directly to the floor care and items that you can actually replace with items from your inventory. So you want to check all the products, equipment, and accessories. Let's take, for example, floor machines. You want to check not only the condition of the machine, because a lot of times the, the wires are hanging, the, uh, the machines may not even work, but you want to make sure that it's an efficient machine and it'll, it'll work good for taking care of the floor. Now what do I mean by that? Let's take an example here. Here's a machine that has an adjustment knob on the front. This is a burning machine, burnishing machine, so it's a high-speed machine with an adjustment wheel on the front. That adjustment wheel is designed to be used to help with the different uh, levels of the floor because the floor is not completely flat. The whole the problem with it is, is you have to keep adjusting it. Or people don't adjust it so that the machine then doesn't contour to the floor. So how efficient really is that machine? So you put your program in using that machine, they're not necessarily going to get the result that, you're, that you would expect if you were using a different machine. So that's a, something to identify there. Uh, floor pads. You want to check the condition of the pads, the size of the pads, and all the types that they have. Again, these are things you can offer from your inventory. You want to check mop buckets. Uh, do they have any applicators? Are they using vacuums? Do they have dust mops? These are all items that I would check for condition and efficiency. And then again, you can introduce yours. Speaking to the cleaning people, very important. 
happens. What happens is, many times when you speak to the cleaning people, you get a different story about what's going on than when you spoke to the person that told you that's in charge and what he said was going on. You build a good relationship with these people as you're uh, speaking with them, which is, which is great because you may need to talk to them in the future, either over the phone or come back and visit with them, so you're already establishing a relationship. And these are the people that are going to be using the product that you're bringing in. And really one of the b greatest benefits of that is the fact that you're actually giving recognition to the people that are cleaning because most of the time they don't really get to talk to anybody or if they do it's usually when something's not working. Now that you've spoken to the person in charge, spoke to the cleaning people, done a walkthrough, make some notes for yourself, now you want to say how can I help this facility? You don't have to have all the answers. Communicate with us, we can provide you with tools that you can put on your website or share with the customer, or you can direct them to our website for information regarding the only one. Because remember, your objective is for the facility to try the only one for themselves so that they can see how it works. Now, who, who said it can't be done? Zing International. Thank you and have a great day.